peace of the kingdom. This is the title of the lessons we are going to present today. And I will read from Matthew 16, verse 19. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Matthew 16, 19. Have you ever heard people saying, uh, Peter is holding the key for those who wanted to enter the kingdom of heaven? Yeah, even in the movies and uh, whatever place we can see that, we can uh, watch. But when Jesus and his disciples were at Caesarea, Philippi, he asked them, whom do men say that I, the son of man, am. In Matthew chapter 16, verse 13, they mentioned what uh, people say that uh, thou art uh, John the Baptist, thou art Elijah, thou art Jeremiah. And he turned to Peter and said, But whom say ye that I am Peter? Peter was always ready to answer any questions, ready to volunteer the questions asked from the group, answered, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. After his confession of Jesus' divinity, the Savior said that he was giving him the keys of the kingdom of heaven in Matthew 16, 13 to 20. So the statement of Jesus had the uh, given the rights of the meat um, of the kingdom of heaven, but he has the power to admit anyone whom he feels qualify for the heaven and uh, also to shut out anyone who, whom he feels is not worthy to be in the kingdom. So the thing is that he was given to the rest of Peter's disciples in Matthew 18, 18. In other words, Peter didn't have the monopoly of the keys. And what do you want to, what do we mean by the key key that uh, Jesus is referring to here? They are not literal keys for opening or closing a certain door, but these are sometimes called keys of knowledge. Yeah, which is teaching my just from entrusted to all the disciples and now to every believer so they can open door open the door to other perspective of to be followers of Jesus. So it is high privilege and so it's solemn responsibility for you and me to know about God's word and open God's knowledge by sharing his inspired word to others who are already seeking the truth. God did not trust this unfallen being to the unfallen beings, but only to you and to me. The Great Commission was given to the members of God's church before Jesus ascended to heaven in Matthew 28, 19 to 20. Salvation of other fellow mortals, in a sense, is dependent upon you and me, upon us. You and I are God's delegated teachers of the people for he has entrusted entrusted the key of knowledge to all for us to us to open as it were the door of salvation so let us then be faithful and in doing our duties and responsibilities as holders of the key of knowledge and God will bless us, and uh, God is uh, going to accompany us as He has promised. He will be with us up to the end of age. Thank you for watching, and God bless.